Shout out to the LDBC. Hey, I want to talk about um, Anthony Joshua's interview on First Take with Max Kellerman and uh, Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, I'm not even going to touch on the Stephen A. Smith part of it because I, I know Stephen A. Smith is a casual boxing fan who probably watched some boxing years ago when he was a little boy. Um, didn't really know what was going on in the sport. He just liked the fighting and, um, or whatever. And, you know what I'm saying? And, and he, he just draws back on that when he, when he was, when he was talking to Skip, he would go back to that. But ultimately, I just don't believe he knows a whole heck of a lot about boxing. Um, just based on things, you know, different, you know, pieces I watched him do over the years, um, different interviews and, you know, him talking. I, I, he, he just comes across to me as a guy who tries to pretend to know a lot but ultimately doesn't know much at all um, when it comes to boxing. So I'm not I'm not even gonna talk about his part. But what, what get, got me was um, when AJ was talking to Max Kellerman, Max Kellerman uh, um, basically told AJ he was the biggest star in boxing. Canelo was a close second, which is not true. Canelo was a, a much bigger star than uh, Anthony Joshua in the sport of boxing. Um, much, much more world, world, world widely, much more known worldwide is what I'm trying to say. Excuse me, got a little tongue tied in. Um, in America, uh, most most boxing fans know who Anthony Joshua is, but most most casual boxing fans, you know what I'm saying, don't really know who Anthony, Anthony Joshua is. But, you know, almost everyone knows who Canelo is. They may not know his, 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 first, his real first name, but they know the name Canelo Alvarez. They don't know his name Saul. So if somebody says Saul Alvarez, they're kind of like, who? But, you know, that, that's a different story. But as far as, um, you know what I'm saying, notoriety, um, as far as, even, even when you talk about accomplishments, I mean, Canelo's accomplished more in the sport of boxing than Anthony Joshua. Canelo, Canelo's captured a, a handful of titles in, you know what I'm saying, over, over the years. Um, he, he's been he's been around longer. He's been a pay per view star longer. He um, does better numbers, and he does those numbers in America, where um, the cost of pay per view is even is much higher than it is in the UK. Canelo also has done what he's done over two weight classes, and now and now he's you know campaigned at a third in his last fight. So. You know that's you know that that's that's um something to be said about you know what I'm saying his his, his uh act, his accomplishments in the sport of boxing. Um, I'm not the biggest Canelo fan. I mean, I'll put that out there, but I mean, I'm back when you make comparison to apples to apples. He's he's a bigger he's a bigger star than Anthony Joshua. But that said, they're both big stars. I just I just didn't like Max. Jumping out there like that as if he, he 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 just had to try to boost Anthony Joshua's ego or set him at set him at ease and let him know that hey man I'm on your side buddy you know we're here for you um you know the other thing that I, I didn't like was when Anthony Joshua basically tried to discredit the lineal champion when I know that Max Kellerman knows boxing you know nobody's gonna convince me that Max Kellerman is a casual boxing fan. I, I'm 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 wholeheartedly convinced that Max Kellerman knows boxing. Max Kellerman dumbs himself down in certain situations. He may not always know what he's looking at in in, in the ring when he's calling a fight, but I, I think he knows boxing. He knows the history of boxing. He knows what the lineal heavyweight championship is all about. And for him to come out there and allow Anthony Joshua to say that. And not to call him out on it, not to correct him, not to educate him on what the lineal championship means, um, what what that the lineage and all that is all about. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, you know, he 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 missed the, um, you know what I'm saying? He he failed himself as a reporter. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's his job to 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 put put facts out there. And when you got a guy sitting there basically trying to discredit boxing history, and and, and you you'll, you cover boxing for a living, and you've done this for over ten years now, you know probably much longer than that. I mean, you know, but 
I know at least for 10 years, probably closer to 20 years, you've been covering the sport of boxing. And you allow a, a, a heavyweight champion to say that the lineal championship is something that they made up. And to act, you know, to basically just let that, let, gloss that over like, like he didn't say it. I, I can't respect that. Max, you should be ashamed of yourself. You, um, you need to check yourself, man. I mean, it, it's, I understand you got to make a living, but there's other people out there to interview. If, if, if that were me, and that guy said something like that, I, I, I'd have told him, man, if you're not, if you're not going to be realistic and, um, and, and talk to, with some sense, you know, we don't have to talk. You know, you, you can talk, you can talk to, um, Steven, but I'm not going to sit here and allow you to, as the heavyweight champion, as one of the heavyweight champions, to sit here and discredit lineal champion, discredit lineal championship like it doesn't matter, or like it was something that just got created after Tyson Fury lost his belts, was stripped stripped of his belts, and that's the way he tried to basically like he tried to AJ tried to make it seem like that was something they made up to try to um, make the, the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury belt have a little more prestige, a little more merit, and um, that, that couldn't be further from the truth. You know, and um, it, it's just—I mean, it was—it was shameful. I mean, to me, that—that that was just disgusting for him to um, for for Max Kellerman to uh, to basically just co-sign that because with him not checking him on it, he basically co-signed and it gave us some validity. And to me, that just—you know—that that just discredits the sport of boxing. That discredits him as a, as, as you know a, a, a boxing um, reporter. And it's like if, if, if you're gonna you're gonna let something like that slide, man, stick to covering other sports. And uh don't even you know, don't even don't even bother. Don't don't waste the time. Tell ESPN to let Dan Rafel um, cut do all the boxing interviews. You you you're not up for it. You know, that's all that's that's all I'm gonna say on it. I mean I just think it was disgusting. And um I, I don't I didn't expect anything less from Anthony Joshua or anything better than that from Anthony Joshua. But I, I expect the better from Max Kellerman because Max knows better. So that, that was very disgusting for Max to just sit there and uh, let that let that fly like it was like it was true, you know. Because there there's someone out there who saw that, and when Max didn't didn't uh, refute that or didn't you know what I'm saying didn't jump on that, then there was somebody who actually get thought that what Anthony Joshua said had some validity to it, which it has absolutely zero validity. Um whatsoever zero and you know what i'm saying I, the fact that he was allowed to say that is just that plain disgusting i can't say that enough but i'm gonna get on off of here hey to my to my subscribers i appreciate your viewership hey thanks for coming in watching this video whether you subscribed or not i, I appreciate it if you have subscribed that's it please subscribe to the channel um and drop a comment in the comment section hit that like button d 404 boxing and more i'm out of here peace